Honorable Judge Turney to play Am I the Asshole? I will decide. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Hold on, let me get my fucking wig on. Ahem. <clears throat> bought this like two months ago. <laughs> I got a gavel and the whole part I hit it against. I am ready to pass judgment on everybody. Okay, let's see who our first contestant is. Am I the asshole for going to a different hotel during my vacation with my husband? It our first real vacation since 2020. And my first with my with just my husband in over 10 years. There's a lot of grammatical errors already, so. Our daughter, Annie, 17, was left home alone. For some reason recently, Annie can do no right in my husband's eyes. Dressed, music, chores. He has deemed her irresponsible. It's the furthest from the truth. She has a summer job and makes good grades. She's in fact, kinda a hermit for her age. Unknown to me, my husband set the hot water heater to refill only once per day while we were gone. What? <laughs> I'm already saying divorce. <laughs> Annie did some dishes and some laundry. She took a shower and the water was cold. She was upset and thought it broke and called us panicking. My husband yelled into her, yelled into her, for wasting our hot water and was telling her how irresponsible she was enough to make her cry. I got madder, madder than I have ever have in this marriage and basically said most parents would love to have a 17 year old like Annie. We argued and screamed all night. So the next day I left the resort to a little hotel down the street. My husband has been trying to call me and I told Annie to block her father and don't pay attention to him. My husband is mad about the waste of money on this vacation, but I can't stand to even look at him over an argument over something so stupid and preventable. I have decided not the asshole. First of all, fuck you for fucking yelling at your kid for doing dishes and laundry. Also, who rations a child's hot water? Disgusting. Disgusting. Leave the whole man. Leave the whole, yes, divorce babes. Divorce, disgusting. Throw the whole man away. Also, I will say, I also think not very cool of the mom to tell her kid to block her father's number, but I assume we're also talking about a man who would probably call the daughter and be like, this is your fault, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, not the asshole. <clears throat> Next one. Am I the asshole for not correcting my kids who told my ex's wife she's not their mother? I'm already getting who remembers the stepmother? The Julia Roberts, Susan Sarandon movie? I'm getting, <laughs> I'm getting the vibe. I have two sons, ages 10 and 12 with my ex. We broke up over a number of issues, one of which was Emily, a woman he worked with for years. Isn't it always an Emily? The two of them grew very close and she was always telling me how my ex deserved better than me and that I was trying to steal his family away from him. A few times she even pretended to be his wife during work functions and my ex would laugh it off. Throw the whole man away. <laughs> Throw, I got a hammer and I'm mad about it. As well as that he was really bad with money and other stuff. After we separated, he made things official with Emily, which came as no surprise to me. And bitch, you know that shit was going on the whole time. I don't believe it. Emily was even more openly hostile when she realized my ex's family still liked me and would still include me. Not to mention when she realized my boys weren't super happy she was their dad's new girlfriend. Totally natural, especially for kids, 10, 12, 9, 11, whatever ages they were when they divorced. We don't know how long they've been divorced, but that's totally normal for kids. Emily actually called my ex's mom a cunt for saying I was the best mom when they were all having a family dinner. She sounds lovely, honestly, he deserves her. I hope he's happy. My ex got a firm warning from the judge about using Emily to do exchanges of our boys and to deal with custody issues. Totally true, should be a between you, has nothing to do with new partners. And also like from Emily's perspective, why do you even wanna be involved? That's not your thing. Not your circus, not your monkeys, like leave it alone. This was after her confronting me a number of times during exchanges in front of my children, not cool Emily, and for showing not just hostility, but saying things that we taken as alienation of a parent. I don't know what that means, but sure. He continued to allow this and the and my ex was fine for breaching the judge's orders. He was told if it happened again, custody would be modified. That should be like enough. Don't do it. Don't do it. Recently, there had been an increase in the anger toward me. Emily is unable to have children. We're getting in murky waters. And she wanted the boys to consider her a mom. Oh my God, don't do that. <laughs> don't do it. Don't ever tell a child to consider you a parent. If they naturally consider you a parent, 
an honor you have been bestowed. But to order a child or to tell a child to feel that way, gross. They asked me for help and I said, nope. That Emily was not the mother of my children and I wasn't going to encourage them to consider her one after the years of verbal abuse from her. The boys had an award night back at the start of June at school and while there, Emily told the boys to get in photos with her for the school newsletter. They said no. She told them she wasn't asking. They said she wasn't their mom so she couldn't say that honestly total like normal cliche child behavior my ex scolded the boys but i said nothing x and emily said i should have backed them up what and not allowed disrespect i told them i did not find what they said disrespectful they have claimed i am a shitty parent and should not have let my kids get away with it and that i am teaching them to disrespect women am i the asshole <clears throat> not the asshole obviously not the asshole <laughs> like a a, we already covered it. You can't tell children that you're their parent when you're not their parent. It's just, it's just not. It's just, why are you taking on this responsibility that they don't want you? Second of all, <clears throat> when you divorce someone, they stop being part of, like, you. they stop being, like, guaranteed help. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, if you and your husband are divorced, he should not be able to be like, you have to back me up here. No, you don't. <laughs> No, you don't. We're no longer a parental unit. You can do what's good for kids. I completely agree with that. You should be able to parent cohesively. That's clearly out the window. I say, not the asshole. You should have fucking told your, told your side piece not to be so damn rude to me. Am I the asshole for leaving the restaurant after my boyfriend refused to pay for my meal? <laughs> I'm already excited for this one because I already feel like it's so loaded. Okay. Mm -hmm. I lent my boyfriend some money a few weeks ago because of something he needed and he promised to pay me back ASAP. He was supposed to pay me back five days ago, but something came up and he didn't. I tried to be patient. Yesterday, we had planned to go out with some friends at night for dinner. Yesterday, after I came back from work, I was robbed on the bus and had all my money and cards stolen. I canceled my cards, but the bank customer service told me the new card with my new details, both my physical card and the digital details for Apple Pay, would be available the following morning because the banks were closed for the afternoon, so I had no money. When we went to dinner, my boyfriend and friends told my boyfriend if he could just pay me back the money or at least pay for my meal since I had no money. He didn't say yes or no, just a simple don't worry. By the way, don't worry means I'll pay for you. <laughs> Like, don't worry means I got you. I'm, you're covered. That means don't worry. <laughs> As we ordered, he only ordered for himself. Well, you should order for yourself anyway. Although I order for Gavin at restaurants. <laughs> not all the time, but I'm sick of the song and dance of people not understanding him. So I just order for him. <laughs> I don't choose what he's getting. I just say it in the accent someone is expecting. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I'm like, what do you want? Yeah, he'll have the steak. <laughs> As we ordered, he only ordered for himself and told me that he couldn't cover mine at the moment, so I better not order anything and just have some bites from his meal. How can this man pay for himself? He's using the money you gave him, right? To pay for himself? What? I was so mad and frustrated because he had just promised to give me back the money I had lent him. He then claimed something came up and couldn't give the money back, but then he ordered a nice meal for himself and just told me to get his scraps because he wouldn't pay me back or at least pay for my meal. I'd be the only one sitting there with no meal in front of me. I said, this is ridiculous, and I got up and left. Our friends now believe it was very low of me to get up and leave and that I should be polite and stay there. I can't quite understand that logic, but is there any way I am the asshole? <clears throat> Not the asshole. And I'll tell you why. Your friends suck and your boyfriend sucks more. If one of my friends, I don't give a shit about the circumstances. If one of my friends is at dinner and everybody is ordering and my friend just got fucking robbed and their boyfriend is being a piece of shit and doesn't want to pay for them or can't pay for them or whatever, I'm going to pay for that person. And if it's a group, we'll be like, guys, we'll split it, whatever. Just Venmo us each like five bucks. Who gives a shit? This person's going to eat. We're making sure people are eating here. Unbelievable. The friends are the asshole. The boyfriend is disgusting. Throw them all away. And he's gonna eat in front of her, exactly. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Nope, not on my watch. Nobody goes hungry on my watch, that's bullshit. Thank you all for joining me for this installment of Am I the Asshole? Oh, it's itchy. I have laid down the law. I'm now off, I'm off duty. Oh.